a lethal partnership last season. Mike Collymore's going alone, he draws the goalkeeper and shows why he's a £2 million player. I'm living up to my reputation, he says. A quick turn of pace and he made the finish look so easy. Gemmel to Wone, back to Phillips. Man with a strong shot. Says it all, really, doesn't it? Picks the ball from something like 35 yards. Keith Brannigan is going to be disappointed with himself for that one. There it was, looked as though there was no danger whatsoever as the ball came to him. They gave him space. Pulled his leg back, and it was a rocket. Well, looking at that, you would think that Brannigan had no chance, but I think the Bolton keeper will be very unhappy with that. Phillips, lots of room from the Bolton defence. I think Brannigan was actually there on the shot. I think he wanted to tip it over. Maybe he tried to grab it. Maybe it cost him. Balls just slipped into the top corner, but I would blame Brannigan for that goal. I think Thompson, McAteer. McAteer has only Coyle in the centre. Laws came in on the back of him. A great save by the goalkeeper. But David leaves there. And that's what the Little Banners deserve for a great first half performance. Just over a minute to go to half time, and Bolton Wanderers are back in it. Thanks to David Lee, still no smile from Bruce Real, but he must be a little bit happier. Certainly, the Bolton number seven is. No doubt about it. As soon as I say they're not getting anywhere, they go and get a goal. But it, Bolton deserved that on the possession really shared by both teams this afternoon. They certainly didn't deserve to be 2-0 down. And that felt perfectly to uh, David Lee to whack the ball home. I don't think Tommy Wright will be too happy though letting that slip from his hands. Two disgruntled goalkeepers. Another goalkeeper who tried to make the perfect catch. And only patted it into the, uh, to the feet of David Lee. Thompson's onside, he's only got the goalkeeper to beat, which he does with a great deal of style. He's delighted, his first goal for Bolton Wanderers, and you won't see a more confident finish than that. That's a superb finish, outside of the left foot, picked his corner and struck it past Tommy Wright to leave him with no chance, but Scott Green, the uh, substitute, made the difference there, it was his through ball that put him through, and that was a marvellous, marvellous goal for Bolton to get them right back in it. Forest players, I don't think could have any complaints. On the far side, I think maybe he would have looked off, but one of the Forest players on this near side certainly ran back and kept him on, and uh, it's great to see Bolton back in it. Almost looked too cocky when he uh, drew the goalkeeper off his line. Beautiful finish. Derby. After some pressure from Bolton, it's Forest who. Uh, and now doing all of the attacking and have taken the lead through Stan the Man. That's crazy defending. I think when Howe picked the ball up, I think all he was trying to do was knock it across the goal. And he did that, to be fair. And that's sleeping from the Bolton defence to lead Collymore stealing at the far post. And he won't score an easier goal than that. McAteer. Goes alone. Again, he's going to have to get round three players. Releases the ball to Green, who finds Lee. This is a chance. This is a goal of Bolton. A level. David Lee's second of the game. Anything that Stan Collymore can do, I can do, says the wee man. Still no smile from Bruce Rioch. But it's 3-3. Well, we criticised McAteer earlier on. We felt maybe he was a little bit weak with his final pass. But that was perfection. Threaded beautifully through to David Lee. And David Lee took it ever so well. He knew he was under pressure because he knew that two or three Forest defenders were chasing back at him. Kept his composure superbly well. And that is one hell of a finish. Thompson's left alone. Needs support. Phillips crossed to the near post. Patterson goal! And that's the fourth for Bolton Wanderers. What a cracking game. delighted they've had their money's worth Bruce Rioch will moan and groan about conceding three but Patterson scores his first goal of the season and the sun ironically begins to shine over Burnham Park well he's been quiet for most of the afternoon but he's certainly be delighted with this great ball in just across the